It's now my pleasure to welcome to the stage a doTERRA Diamond and registered nurse, Lauren Bush, to talk to us about incorporating some detoxification practices into our homes. Hello everyone, my name is Lauren Bush. I am married to my high school sweetheart, John Bush, and I am the mom of nine amazing kids. In my pre doTERRA life, I was a medical ICU nurse. About 95% of my patients were trached and ventilated, so you could kind of say respiratory care is my thing. And so while I know part of the invitation as to why I'm here today is because of my medical background, I actually want to start off with sharing information that I have learned because of my most precious title which that is a mom. But don't worry, I will get right back and I will put my practitioner's hat back on and then I'm gonna tie this all up and I'm gonna tell you how to take all of the amazing information that you learned today and apply it to your business. In fact, we're gonna set fire to your business. When my daughter Chloe was nine months old, she was diagnosed with a really scary respiratory issue. The thought process for me as a mom and a, and a medical ICU nurse is that we get a diagnosis, we'd receive some medication, and we kind of go on with our way. The problem was that's not really how it went. The doctors couldn't figure out what was causing her attacks. They couldn't figure out why the medication wasn't working. They couldn't figure out what was going to happen if she stayed on the amount of medication that she was on for any prolonged period of time. And in fact, we actually got to a point where the doctor said, we don't know how to help. So I found this amazing quote that actually sums up our journey, which is, if you're unable to understand the cause of the problem, <laughs> thank you, it is impossible to solve it. You see, at the beginning of our journey, I actually had a friend ask, are you open to trying essential oils? And unfortunately, my ego totally got in the way. I thought, you have no idea how sick my child is, and you have no idea how smart I am. I am a nurse. If there was something that was going to help my child, me, or my colleagues would have already heard of it. And my ego got in the way for three years. Three years of sleepless nights, three years of watching my daughter suffer, until we got to the point of complete and utter desperation. And then I opened up, and I said, yes, I'm willing to try essential oils. And while our very first essential oil experience was enough to make me an instant believer, it was the lifestyle changes that came along with doTERRA that made the greatest impact on my daughter's health. You see, I'm a little bit ashamed to admit, but I had a very toxic routine in my house. So all of my crunchy mamas who are watching this right now, please try not hard not to cringe too bad and know that I have learned so much. You see, my daily routine looked a little bit like this. Every single day, I'd come downstairs and I'd light a couple candles because ambiance. Then I'd go and I would check all of the plugins in my house and I'd see if they needed new cartridges. I'd then grab my bottle of Febreze and I sprayed every single soft surface in my house. A couple times a week, I'd put down carpet powder because even the carpet needed to smell good to me. When it came to laundry, I actually chose my laundry detergent based on how strong my clothes would smell when they came out of the wash versus how clean my clothes came out of the wash. In fact, that's how I chose my laundry detergent and my fabric softener and the bounty bar that was in the dryer and the extra little smelly pellets that I poured into the washing machine. It was that bad, guys. But the piece that I thought I had figured out the greatest hack as a mom was when I went around and I changed my kids' sheets once a week I would take a bottle of baby powder and I would sprinkle it all over the mattress and then I'd put the clean sheets on and then I'd pat the bed so a little powder came through because I love the way that my kids would smell when they waked up in the morning, woke up in the morning. I didn't know that what I was doing to make my house feel and smell like home was causing the problems that we were so desperately looking for solutions for. So let's really talk about the cause of disease. And there's two really big culprits that I want to focus on. One is nutritional deficiency. It's a big one. Second is chemical exposure. Some might argue that genetics play a big part in this, but I want you to think of genetics like this. What was your grandmother exposed to while she was pregnant with your mama? What was your mama exposed to while she was pregnant with you? And then what are you being exposed to now? 
because all of those influences, all those chemical exposures influence our genetics. In your lifetime now, the things that you're exposed to, which Nicole just kind of touched base on, trigger things called epigenetics. We can turn certain genes on and we can turn certain genes off. So here are two amazing articles, and believe it or not, they were published one year apart. First one's from ABC News, and it says, oh, the average woman is exposed to about 168 chemicals on a daily basis. Huffington Post did the same article one year later. The average woman is now exposed to 515 synthetic chemicals. And what's more dramatic to me than the increase of chemical exposures, it's that last part of the title, without knowing. So what the heck is the problem? How do we not know what we're putting on our body? And this is the problem. As consumers, we think, oh, it's on the shelf, it's been tested, it has to be safe. No one would sell something that's not good for my health, right? That would be incorrect. In fact, if we looked at the cosmetic industry alone, which is something we place on our skin on the daily, right? There's over 10,000 chemicals that go into formulation. Now, there's some really amazing countries that have gotten together and they're looking at the chemicals and what they do and they've banned about 1,400 of them. Unfortunately, the United States is not among them. The FDA has only banned 11. So now I want to put my practitioner's hat back on and I want you to see what the health impacts are from these chemical exposures. So first, I have to address hormonal health. You know, I think this is that topic that we have the greatest awareness of, but definitely the least amount of respect for, because we write it off as a mood issue, which is why this e-card was so easy to find, right? I don't think you understand how these hormones work. You're going to make me do something that'll end up on the news. Guys, our hormones control so much more than that, right? It's our growth. It's our development. It's our metabolism. Did you know type 2 diabetes is a hormone imbalance? Sexual function, reproduction. Most of us have probably also seen this picture of the cell right here in some of Dr. Hill's amazing presentations as he talked about the power of phytoestrogens. But I want you to focus on the little red dots, the xenoestrogens. And I want you to understand that xenoestrogens is really an umbrella term. It's all the chemicals that either mimic estrogen or have a major influence on our estrogen levels. We are wellness advocates. Are we really living up to that title if we only offer a solution to the problem, but we do not teach about how they are causing the problem that they need a solution to? This is affecting our unborn babies, causing birth defects. It's affecting our teens, causing a mental health epidemic. And yes, this is a men's health issue as well. Men, when you compare the data, a 50-year-old man today has the same testosterone level as a 70-year-old man in the 1950s. So you're not being spared. I know part of what I love is science and research. I could do it all day long. And I'm sure there's a big group of you that are like, yes, throw it at me. I could do a thousand slides. Sounds good, right? And then there's the other half of you going, please don't do more science and research. So I summed it up all in one slide and both groups are going to be happy. I want you to know that there are tens of thousands of research articles on exactly what the chemicals do to our body. Chemical exposure has been linked to rising rates in cancers, asthma, autism, anxiety, depression, infertility, birth defects, obesity, obesity, insulin resistance, and other health issues. Many of these chemicals have never, never been tested for safety. Plus, they accumulate in the body and they interact in potentially harmful ways. Our babies are being born with hundreds of chemicals already accumulated in the body and they still face a lifetime of exposures. So how do we help? Well, first of all, you can't avoid them all. These chemicals are in our carpeting, our vinyl flooring, the coating on wires and cables, shower curtains, raincoats, plastic toys, your car steering wheel, the dashboard, the gear shift, your medical devices, and our food and water. Our bodies, like my son, are literally screaming for help. It has become vital that we eliminate as much as possible. Our home care and our personal care are completely under our control. Plus, doTERRA has us covered. We have amazing products that cover almost every aspect of our personal care and cleaning our homes. And if doTERRA doesn't have it, 
There are some amazing clean companies out there that might also have it or learn to DIY. Now, I know there are some wellness advocates right now that just rolled their eyes when they heard DIY. So I'd like to remind you, I have nine children, I homeschool, and I run a doTERRA business. I can do all my DIYs in about three ingredients or less, one of them being an essential oil, in an upcycled pickle jar. You have the time and you have the resources. So now I want you to join with me and I want you to close your eyes and I want you to imagine. Imagine if all of your builders stopped building today, yet your volume didn't drop a single PV because your team had fully incorporated doTERRA into their daily personal and home care routines. Imagine if you didn't have a volume drop in January or the summer because your customers continued to brush their teeth, wash their faces, clean their homes, diffuse oils, and fully embraced a natural lifestyle. Imagine if doTERRA products become the non-negotiables in the budget because people truly understood the health consequences of choosing chemical-laden products. So here's how we're going to do just that. We got a little boys to men playing in the background. This is how we do it, right? Okay. So most of us are pretty familiar with an AED, right? It's a life-saving advice uh, device. But we're going to apply that same acronym to your health and to your business. So first, A equals awareness. When you come across a health concern, so you, you teach a class and you ask everybody to make their list. What's your top three health concerns, right? And then we, we guide them to a kit. And then we go back and we do that wellness consult. And somebody's listed, here's my top three health concerns, right? I want you to take those health concerns and one by one, I want you to type them in your search bar. And I want you to type in, I'm just going to throw an example out there, diabetes and chemical exposures. And see what comes up. What you learn, teach others. Teach the person that you're going to sit down and do that wellness consult with. Then you're going to take that same health concern, diabetes, and nutritional deficiencies. And so when you sit down and you do that wellness consult, how much more education are you able to provide the person who just invested in a doTERRA enrollment kit? How much more likely is it that they're going to need an LRP? Second is E, eliminate. If you have not fully embraced the crunchy lifestyle... It's time. Your health, your family's health, and even your business is literally depending on it. Your team is going to follow your lead as you clean things out from your home and you teach them, hey, I didn't realize my deodorant was so toxic. They're going to look at their own deodorant and they're going to start replacing things. You can make this fun. Have a competition. Be honest. Like, hey, I had no idea. I went around and I scanned my house and I got a couple eights and nines. I'm going to have to throw those in the trash. Anybody else beat that? Let somebody beat you and send them a free oil. Make it fun. And then here's the best part. D means doTERRAize. One of the reasons that our team volume has been so rock solid, even after builders have quit, is because we have an education piece called Mastering Your Home. And we go room by room. And we teach how cost effective and easy it is to ditch the toxins and what to switch it out for. I have two amazing leaders on my team who even, who even rock DIY Saturdays. They'll do a big invitation. They'll tell people, here's what the ingredients list is. Everybody runs out, grabs their own ingredients. They all hop on Zoom and they do the DIYs together. Make it fun. Because the better job we do educating on this topic, the healthier our families, friends, and businesses are. So most of you have probably seen some pictures floating around over the last year that looked a little similar to this, as people debate the germ theory versus terrain theory. I'm going to relabel it. We're going to call it the doTERRA theory. So now I want you to close your eyes, and I want you to imagine along with me. A hiker is out, and he's walking along, and he falls into a deep, dark crevice, and he gets hurt. And then you're out for the walk. And you come across the hole and you see the hiker down in there and you're like, I can help them. And so you throw down your rope and you help pull them out of the hole that they're in. But then you realize they're going to fall back into that exact same hole tomorrow. And the day after that. And the day after that. So you let them buy the rope from you. And you help them tie it off and you teach them how they can pull themselves back out of the hole all on their own. You see, when our family started on this journey swimming around in a toxic environment, the oils were a great lifeline. They were pulling us out of our hole. We had no idea that we were the cause of the health issues that we were searching for solutions for. Now instead, I want you to imagine that you helped the hiker out of the hole. 
You taught them how to avoid falling into the hole, but you still saw it on the rope. And instead, you taught him how to climb mountains with that rope. Before we reduced our toxic load, our essential oil experiences were powerful. But since we have eliminated the toxic sludge from our homes, our essential oils experiences have become profound. I like my products like I like my people, non-toxic. It is our job as consumers to know what we are purchasing, but it's our responsibility as wellness advocates to help teach others. Most people have no idea that they are causing the very health issues that they are looking for solutions for. I almost lost my daughter because I just didn't know. Making a commitment to understanding the health impacts of the products we use, to terrorizing our homes, and teaching others to do the same is going to amplify your impact, bring life back into your business, and make deeper connections with your friends and family. We can do this, guys.